Hey, what's up guys? Chris Jr. here for Chris Core Productions. Welcome to uh, this tutorial. It's very brief, but it's also very exciting because I'm going to be showing you uh, a tool that I use so many times and that makes my life so much better when I'm editing. Uh, I'm talking about dynamic linking and this works with any Adobe products, but for today, I'm going to really show you the true power of it by um, dynamic linking certain things from Premiere into After Effects. All right, so let's say you want to add some effects to this. One way that you would do it in any other program would be to just render the specific clip, preferably uncompressed, so you can bring it into After Effects and do the magic in there. Now, this is where dynamic linking comes into play, and it's really useful, especially when it comes to uh, speeding up your workflow in between different programs. So what you can do with the clip selected is you can right-click on it, and uh, we have a couple options here, but you're going to see this really long one that says Replace with After Effects Composition. You're going to want to click that. that brings you up your uh, your After Effects. It asks you to save, Just hit save, and now we're gonna have a new composition that's been imported directly from Premiere. Now let's make some changes in here just to show you that it works. I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. Um, I'm try and do this as quick as possible. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing, but let me just drop in some curves, uh, make it darker. And I don't know, maybe give it a nice little gradient for the sky. Okay, if I go back into Premiere, you can see that it automatically updates. And if I hit play, it's uh, incredibly fast, actually. Now, obviously, that depends on your computer, but it's a really, really useful tool to have. And whenever I'm editing something that needs any kind of visual effects work or even any kind of effect that Premiere doesn't have, this is insanely useful. Just when you thought it was awesome, it actually gets even better. The way you can use dynamic linking is not only with individual clips, but you can do it with an entire timeline as well. So let's say you've edited your project up, you have all these individual clips. You might not want to right click on each individual clip and replace with After Effects composition. What if you actually have some tools in After Effects for color grading that you don't have in Premiere and you just want to just drag in an entire sequence in there? Well here's what you can do. You can make a selection in your timeline and you can go under File. Go down to Adobe Dynamic Link, and then what you can do is uh, you can replace with After Effects Composition. When I click that, you're going to notice that my individual clips have all imported into a single composition. So pretty much you can make all of your cuts and edits into Premiere, and then you can bring all of that stuff into After Effects. This is insane. Um, this is so helpful. I know it might not seem like a lot, but if you have a heavy project with a lot of intense effects, this is, this is a huge help. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please hit that like button. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit subscribe. Also, I just recently passed uh, over 20,000 subscribers. So I wanted to thank you guys for that. That is an insane amount of people that want to actually watch my videos. I think that is really incredible. All right, guys, my name is Chris Trini for Chris Corp Productions, and I will see you next time.